Ugh. Ugh. Hello and welcome back to the really fucking weird infectious madness of Dr. Decker. I, uh, yeah, this uh, we, that we just had last time, the crazy dream with Mariana in it, uh, where apparently she visited our dream and was a lot different to who we thought she was. There's now two subplots, or two plots, I guess. One, the murder of Decker, involving, we think, Jaya as the murderer. Evidence seems to point that way. Well, evidence in this world is really evidence. And the second plot is Mariana is a siren, a mermaid, trying to tr uh, taking people to their doom to feed a Cthulhu-type creature who's going to wake up and cause chaos and stuff. Good stuff. Let's continue. You rang my doorbell. The truck driver. The little girl. Killed himself. David is weird. Well, she's watching me. I need to put David Molly. out of his misery. Is it okay to steal things? Beeping tablets. Fingerprints. Dead bodies. I saw Jessica. Should I kill David? Hilda died last night. Do you think I should tell her about psychokinetics? The photos. Dr. Deckard seemed to like a drink. A bit of a drinking problem. It's probably the same for Jaya. One of his patients was trying to kill him. He lent me some money. Leaving him messages. Creature. Human flesh. I'd teleported. To you. Do you have that dream, Doctor? I had a dream. Insanity, please. Yes. Oh! Your Doctor. You look... Huh. There's something I need to tell you. I can't find Dr. Decker's prescription pad anywhere. I'm not sure when it went missing, but I... Don't remember seeing it for a while. Yours is there, but I'm scared one of the patients may have got their hands on it. Let me know if you find it anyway, and ask me about Mariana later. I've got news. All right, bye. Right, we've got Mariana here. Does she remember the dream from last night? I don't dream, doctor. I haven't dreamed for years now. For years now? I don't know about that. Uh, don't dream. Yeah. I did say that was a dream, didn't I? Is it easier to swallow, knowing it's the truth? Okay, so I think we've kind of... come into Mariana's story halfway through. I should just say hi and see what she says. I'm fine, Doctor. I went to the beach, swam under the sea, and returned to tell the tale. No blackouts. Nothing. And yet you don't seem fine. And I guess I went to dream from that. I guess I could ask about blackouts. Like I said, I've been fine. Yeah, she definitely seems more like the Mariana that was in my dream last night. Okay, so then we asked about the dream. I don't dream. And she just didn't dream, yeah. and then... And then she's asked about the truth. The truth is, I'm not like you, Doctor. Or anyone else. I can swim to the bottom of the ocean for hours. And people follow me. Yeah, we, 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 got, we got that. Even if it's the last thing they do. Uh, glowing creature. Is it going, getting bigger or something? I'm not sure what you'd call it. A wisp? A star? It's so bright and warm and loving. To you? I don't know why it leaves me. It only leave? wants the others. It, it feeds on them. Yeah, it's warm and loving when it kills you, what leaves you. When I look down, I black out. But if I can just keep looking forward, no blackouts. I can just swim back to the top uh. when it's finished. So if she looks at the human body, she blacks out. I see, I see. Um, yeah, she definitely is different today. So what I say, why do you remember? Like, how do you remember? Can you remember what you did? What, 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 what? What did I do? 
Uh, of course, it's been in the day, so of course I'll have done something creepy towards her. Okay, okay, so look down. We've already kind of established that it's probably going to be the flesh that she's disturbed by. You really want to know? If I look down, it's writhing. Just limbs of people from the clubs and the bars. Not just from this week, but last week, last month, last year. They all look terrified, but somehow still alive. The creature, it's all inside them, poking holes through them that they shouldn't have. It just eats them. Slowly. Oh, this is fun. Poking holes. I don't. Uh, eats them. I'm missing. Oh, oh, bugger! I didn't. I misspelled them. Thought I'd retype it. I'm missing people. That's where they go. I, I don't know why I'm doing it. I swear I don't, Doctor. The creature. I hear it. No. It's our secret. Uh. Uh. I don't know if I want to keep this a secret, Mariana. Missing people? I can't explain what Ooh, happened John? with John. He followed me back from the bar that night and swam with me under the ocean. I blacked out. He'd gone. Uh, John? You must have read about John in the news. I don't read the paper. He was a local student who went missing. He was a looker. And he had a way with words, but he was also a cheat. The creature liked eating him a lot. But I can't explain what happened next. You're gonna make me ask you, though, aren't you? <laughs> I left him to be eaten. And the next morning, he turns up in my bed at my house. He's not wet at all. No signs he's been in the sea, but he has holes in him. Lots of holes. His inside is on the outside. Ew. Just a ball of tangled worms. And now they're blaming me, but you knew that, Doctor, didn't you? Yeah, I tried to talk to you about it yesterday. That's why I'm here. Uh, I have no fucking clue why you're here. Ah yes, who wants to want to see said about our secret? It's our little secret that apparently you're now a mass murderer. Still the hottest mass murderer I've ever seen, but still. It's our secret. What will you tell people that I'm feeding people to a creature at the bottom of the ocean? What proof do you have? You can't tell on me. You know what you do to me. Bah? When you visit. Bah? I let you do it because sometimes I'm ashamed of what I've done. You make me feel like I deserve it. Buh? What do I do? You get inside me, Doctor. Um. And it hurts. Uh. And you don't care. Okay, so she's saying I rape her. Uh, just for you guys out there who couldn't connect those dots. Rape? No. Nope. Um, it hurts. I don't have... I don't feel I should be asking these questions, really. Inside you? That's not something I'm I don't... <laughs> uh, you get inside me, Doctor. Ashamed. It's my fault they're all dying. They're following me. Uh... That's a very weird sensation. 
of being accused of raping somebody uh, and not only obviously me being out of the game uh, not doing it but also my character not knowing about it in the game very 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 weird okay so I guess why I'm here is the next thing we're gonna ask her they think I killed John John and some others they need to know whether I'm insane or not um my lawyer he says I'm insane, but that he needs you to rubber stamp it. Do you think I'm insane, Doctor? Well, no, I don't think you're insane. I just think you're a dangerous mermaid weirdo. Who apparently I rape. I don't like this. No, I don't think you're insane. Insane would be denying the truth of this universe. I know it could all be a big sort of, haha, they are insane, and they've been convincing you, but the evidence from, even though there's no, no, if there's no proof, all these people, the evidence suggests that they're not insane, that it does happen. I told you how grateful I'd be. But you need to fix my problem first. If they try me as sane, I'll be in prison for a long time. And then, how would you get your reward, Doctor? And what reward are we talking about here? I mean, if I'm already raping you, what reward? I mean, that's not a reward. Ah! You killed John. No. The creature killed John. Okay, fine. The creature killed John. Same thing, surely? <laughs> oh, I'm fucking, like, knee-deep in this, like, Cthulhu death circle. Oh, cycle. Marianne has finally worked out that she's uh, is a mermaid. She's been leading people to their death, obviously, because she didn't before. Well, if she did before, she's a great actress, which obviously the actress is. But you know what I mean. The character isn't a great actress. Um, she's finally worked out. We've had this big in-depth discussion. And she's like, "It's my, it's our secret. If I go down, you're going down with me. Apparently, you've been raping me." Ah, and then I'm like, "I don't know where to go from here to finish her story." And so I asked the game. And it's like. I should ask her about the prescription pad. And like, that's so fucking off course for where I am in this conversation. That's so stupid. Why would someone steal Dr. Decker's prescription pad? I didn't even know he had one. Well, to get free drugs, but okay. Is that, is that good enough for your game? <laughs> Death threats. I prefer actions over words, doctor. You know that. Okay, game's hint. Do people still follow her? People follow me into the sea. Why do you go to the sea I then? I don't force them, they just follow to see the creature. Don't go to the sea. No, I've not been thirsty oh, not well, since I went back to the sea. Yeah, it wasn't what I was asking, but fair enough. I'm still concerned about this whole rape thing. <laughs> I like the fact that like, the world could be ending. Cthulhu's on the loose. I'm like, but I don't want to have raped people. Pad steel. Wow. That's a oh. low blow, Doctor. I don't know what you mean to assume it. And after all our sessions. I'm not a thief. Even alone, that was just unfortunate. Okay, well, I didn't actually mean to insinuate she stole it, but she asked me. There was a, there was a, a green pib next to it. Uh, yeah, no, she's, that, as, as we've discussed, there's two sides to this. There's the killing part, and then there's the Cthulhu part. She's definitely on the second side of this. I don't think she's anything to do with the death. Not now, anyway. What happened to Alone? I thought you asked that last time. It went to feed the great creature. Dr. Decker asked for his loan back after diagnosing me as sane. In his opinion, my blackouts and everything else were fictional. What? He had no proof, of course. Either way, or I'd be cured, but... He asked for his money back, and I didn't have it. Well, it's a good thing you had an agreement, uh, agreement that he was essentially giving you money for free. That's what the contract states. I don't, I'm not a legal person. I don't know if this is actually legal. But from what it says on there... She, he agreed to give her £15,000 in exchange for £1. No interest for three years. It wasn't three years. He literally cannot ask for his money back. Or rather, he can ask, but he, she doesn't have to give it. Asked for his money back. I swear I asked that. But yeah. Why would I do that? 
Dr. What? Decker transferred our loan agreement to Clara Castleford. She bought him out. I owe her the money now. What? Whoa, what? Why? Okay, straight to Claire. Um, Decker loan? You're asking me too many things at uh, Loan. I don't really know the girl, but I did buy out her loan from Dr. Decker. I mainly did it to shut him up about it. But can you imagine having him as a creditor? That poor girl. I hope it didn't accrue anything more than interest. Uh, okay, Mar well, Marianne is actually done, so we could go to Claire now. Apparently she's done. I don't feel like a lot of these times we have these com these things, I feel like there is actually a lot more to be said. And obviously there are a lot of optional points to find. But in actually finding them all is actually quite difficult. In fact, this one actually... Why would I do that? This one's still yellow. Why is she done? Let's go for transferred. I don't know why she did it, but Dr. Decker got repaid, and now my agreement is with Claire. You should ask her. I already did, actually. Oh, uh, here we go. This is what I didn't want to find out. This is what I was saying with the whole me getting inside her. What does she mean by get inside? I mean, this is what... This is where these games are always going to fall down unless you get some super smart AI running it or something. Uh, you have to get literally the right wording and it can be quite frustrating. You watch me undress. Cool. Okay. You say nothing, but still you order it just like Dr. Decker did. Decker did the same thing. I and... strip. Ashamed. As I lie down, you bend over me. Ugh. So horrible. Ah, thanks. Like worms. Oh. Crawling. With jaws like pythons. Being very into me. I lay there, frozen, while you violate me. Ugh. Punishing me. I'm not sick. Yeah, okay, I can, I can see that. Um, that's horrible. Uh, could it be that this? Because obviously, I don't remember doing like this. This character doesn't remember doing this at all. So, could it be that it's actually a creation of the Wisp, or what do you want to call it? The I don't think that. I think that's too advanced for the game we'll get it'll get to it in its own time and it'll recommend what i say at that point but there's gotta be a reason why i don't remember it um okay i feel like we're done with mariana i don't feel done she went from being my uh obviously the, the hottest and favorite character to I me mean, she's still the hottest but it's one of the most tragic characters and one that i weirdly enough like because i always get influenced by media and stuff quite easily but i one i feel most responsible for obviously because apparently i've been raping her um this is not something i never thought i'd say let's move on to nathan he's a much happier child uh, no we're gonna do claire next claire because of the loan hi claire i'm fine why is everyone saying that i killed him. oh yeah there we go of course again like you told me to well, I mean, yes, he was already dead though, really, wasn't he? You did kill him the first time. Killed David. Um, with an axe. Hey, another sharp I got weapon. I him to put his head on the wood block. He didn't really know what he was doing. He trusted me. Not the first time. I cut off his head. When I picked it up, he was smiling. Probably a muscle spasm. Focus. Oh, she got a knife in her hand, sir? I need your expertise, Doc. Let's wait till that appears again. Does she have a knife in her hands? Oh my god, it is! Or it's a bat or something. She comes, walks towards me with a knife or a baseball bat in her hands. That's a bit too short to be a bat. I think it is a knife. That's unnerving. Uh, knife in hands. That's not relevant here. Uh, I think it is. Let's talk to her about something completely relevant. How about the prescription pad? God, this is such an awkward question to ask. I never saw Dr. Decker's prescription pad. I imagine he kept it hidden away to stop people stealing it. 
Okay, for some reason I can't get any further on this. Let's just ask her about a little girl. Anushka's fine, I would imagine. Her father came over to talk about the missing cat. It would have been an easier conversation had I not been splattered in blood and sweating like a milkmaid. <laughs> Do milkmaids sweat? Father. It seemed like he wanted okay. to give me a piece of his mind, but when he saw the state I was in, he fled. There were no police that turned up. I suspect I've got away with it, at least a second time. Now all that's left is for you to write up my diagnosis. Uh, yeah, about that. That I'm not sound of mind. That I wasn't sound of mind when I killed David. It's up to you whether you want to mention any of our other conversations. I'm happy either way. Doctor, did I tell you about that time that I used the power of my mind to bring my husband back to life? Yeah, you mentioned it. I can't it. imagine what I'd do to the psychiatrist that double-crossed me. But I'm sure it will be fun. For me, at least. Well, it seems like she's threatening me. Focus, Doctor. I can't spell right. No. Threats are usually made without the intention of following them through. This is quite the opposite. Okay. Well... No, threats are usually made with the intent that you'd follow them through if, if you did something. It's a conditional thing. I mean, what else would you call it? Guaranteeing harm? I don't know. Ooh, so Mariana's like all up in my grill. Claire's up in my grill. Hey, at least Nathan and Bryce are nice and cheerful, right? And Elin's fun. <laughs> maybe we still got Dr. Decker. Uh, maybe. Oh, the continuing saga of Dr. Decker. After he'd seen David and done his due diligence, he came up with an offer I couldn't refuse. Remember? The one I told you about when we first met. Uh, oh yes, what's this offer? Dr. Decker wanted me to reanimate him. He said he would kill David unless I agreed. Ah, uh, here we go. You reanimated Decker. He called me on Valentine's night. He promised to use a disposable phone so there would be no trace. I was supposed to come here, where I would find him dead, and then reanimate him. I agreed immediately. It seems that Dr. Decker went through with his half of the agreement. But I forgot to turn up. Uh, slightly mad. What's that an achievement for? Just playing the game? Apparently I'm gaining insanity points by uh, playing this game. I have 200 of them, so I'm slightly mad. I don't know where they come from. Um. I don't think we're finished with you. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Did she write the death threats? I've already told you. I never saw his prescription pad, so of course I didn't write any death threats. It sounds like someone is trying to frame me. Who's trying to frame me, Doctor? Okay, we're kind of done with Claire. It's same as Mariana. I'm feeling the very, like, horrible taste in my mouth. So, Mariana's, like... She's basically saying just give her what she wants. No one's going to believe her, believe me about the story that I'd tell them about her, about summoning Cthulhu. Um, and Claire's just actually threatening me. No matter what she says, she's actually threatening me with or promising she'll do harm if I don't give her what she wants. Um, can we go to somebody nice? Let's try Elin. She's a nice person. Please don't be a horrible murderer. Hi. I'm good. I feel better. Oh, this is going to be a nice one to end on. That was all negative. I don't want to be like that. I made you something. Oh. A little thank you for being so nice. They're cookies. Poison cookies? You're confusing me now. Okay, there's two things there then. Poison. No. What oh my do you God. think I am? Fine. Don't eat them then. I was just trying to be nice. <laughs> I didn't actually think that would be a fucking answer. <laughs> the usual stuff. Flour, sugar, butter, chocolate chips, and my special ingredient. A little herbalist magic to give you some pep. You look like you need it. I am saying I look pretty rough. Maybe it's all those late nights burying oh god god's sake um so i can I, I switched those around it should have been high cookies poison um let's go back to the high 
I feel better. Last session. Okay, so negative. I'm a happy person. And really, what's the point of being miserable? It doesn't matter what's going on at work or anything. Happy is the only goal. Max told me that. I think some footballer might have said it. Who's Max? Oh, if I can spell right. I told you about Max, right? Didn't I mention him before? Uh, the date on the pier you did. Yes, but you don't know the whole story. Max is 77. He was one of my patients. I thought he was dying, so I shifted for him. Came an old sweetheart of his, apparently. Only Max didn't die. He actually got better somehow. And then he came and asked me to do it again. Uh, this is getting weird again. The game, but we day five. For those of you who are watching at home and decide to play this game later, this is where shit gets real. Do it again. Sorry. Uh, if I could spell. Yes, Max and Elena had dinner on Valentine's Day. I felt a bit weird when he asked me, but he said he just wanted to have one more date with her, and then he wouldn't ask me again. And to be fair. He was a perfect gentleman. I mean, I didn't want to have that conversation. Uh, what conversation? The, I don't sleep with 77 year old men oh, okay, conversation, sure. of course. Herbalist Pep. You can put herbal remedies in food. The effect's more subtle, but it does work. Okay, that's relevant, I guess. Sweet heart of his Okay, so let's talk about the sweetheart bit. Eleanor, her name was, or is. Like I say, he doesn't even know where she is now. But she obviously still loves him. When I shifted, I felt all fluttery and excited. It's so sweet, isn't it? Hey, I am. You feel what they what they feel? I don't what do you mean? Sorry, I... Oh, that's actually the end of that tree. Okay. Um, that's weird. She just told us about the date thing. Okay, let's just ask her about the prescription pad. What about the prescription pad? Uh, did you steal it? Yes. I took oh. it. I had to. Um, why did you have to? Dr. Decker told me he could use it to take away my gift. Oh. Hang on. Well, this isn't the end. <laughs> Game. How could he take away your gift? Maybe he was just winding me up. I don't know. But he said that he could write a prescription and whatever he wrote on it would be true. Like he could write, Ealing can no longer shift. And that would be it. I wouldn't be able to shift anymore. So it's weird. Like, so Dr. Decker, like, I try and stand these things. He, it seems like... Maybe this is his final act as himself rather than agent of chaos, but it seemed like he was trying to take out the people who had abilities, like get rid of their abilities for them. Death threats? Someone was sending Dr. Decker death threats. I had no idea. He never said anything to me about it. Okay, it looks like Eden's done. Uh, that's what we're going to call it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I... Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love the fact that poison worked. Um, yes, yeah, so we've had an interesting one. Uh, the more and more I play this game, the less sure I am, which is not how this is meant to work in my mind. I'm meant to be more sure the more like information I get. But, I mean, obviously that's just a well-crafted Cthulhu game. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you'll be here next time. Have a great day, and I'll see you then. I guess. Bye! Uh.